Kainit. Grabe yung init. Alam ko yung tubig. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Laura David. And for today's video, I'm going to answer the frequently asked questions about my course based sa comments ng videos ko. Which means, yung mga questions na to yun, yung mga nakikita yun ngayon, are comments from my computer science related videos which can also be found on my channel. So kung gusto nyo muna panoorin yun, why not? Go ahead and then come back here. And before I start, DISCLAIMER! So, I want to emphasize the first year pa lang ako and as in ko tong kalit pala yung alam ko since first and second term pa lang naaaral ko. And because of that, lahat ng sabihin ko are based from my experience, my opinions, and my point of view. My lack of knowledge has always been a concern to me kasi syempre gusto gusto ko matalungan and syempre yung magkabali. So, yun lang naman. I hope you guys respect my opinions and syempre magbabago din to in the next few years. Syempre iba rin yung mga magiging sagot ko sa mga questions na to. So, syempre, <laughs> I'll make an updated version of this. And yeah, yun lang. Let's get started! So the first question na lagi ko nakikita or na-receive sa mga comments ko is kung ano ba magandang strand for the course? Kung STEM ba or ICT? If you're up ka sa math, go to STEM. Pero pag gusto mo na agad magka-background tungkol sa iba't ibang programming languages, I suggest you go to ICT. Now yung ICT, may tatlo siyang kind, which are ICT Programming, ICT Hardware Servicing, and ICT Animation. So yung ICT Programming, it's pretty self-explanatory na tungkol siya sa programming and software. And then yung ICT Hardware Servicing, tungkol naman sa hardware, networking, troubleshooting, and engineering math. Yung ICT Hardware Servicing, the best siya pag kukuha ka ng computer engineering sa college. And then yung ICT Animation, tungkol naman sa digital arts. Every strand naman has its pros and cons. Kunyari, ang STEM, maganda siya sa math and sa broad concept ng technology. Pero, matatakil nyo yung science and engineering na hindi naman related sa course. It's really up to your preference and situation. Ako, I took STEM kasi nung grade 10 ako, bago pa lang yung K-12 nun, and I haven't done the research about STEM and ICT. And yung school na pinakamalapit ang in-offer lang STEM. So, I took STEM. Also, Kinuha ko rin yun kasi di ako like 100% sure kung kung sa'yo na talagang kunin ko. So, ang advice ko rin sa inyo, if super, 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 100%, 100%, 100% sure ka na na kukunin mo ay computer-related course sa college, go to ICT. Also, sa college naman, back to zero kayo. So, tututunan nyo ulit lahat. I have blockmates na kumuha ng UMS and ABM no senior high. And okay naman sila ngayon, some are the top of the class. So it's really up to you if you're going to work hard and study hard to have that high grades. Ang tanong na lang talaga when it comes to the strand is kung saan mo gusto maging ahead. Kung sa programming ba or sa algorithm ng programming. And tukul naman sa bridging system, yung bridging system depende siya sa university. So di lahat ng university nag-offer nun. So I suggest you also do research about the university you want to be in and then tignan mo kung may bridging program sila. If ever, hindi related yung strand na kinuha mo senior high. Next question. Tinama ng laptop and anong laptop ang maganda for the course? For me, a laptop or a PC is an essential when you're a tech major dahil practicing outside of campus and at home is a must. 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 If wala sa budget pang laptop, okay lang din kung wala. Since most universities offer computer labs, and to naman kayo lage pang may discussion sa lab and pang may hands-on activities. If you're starting out palang and mahaba ang pasensya mo, okay na yung laptops na i3 and below and may 4 gigabyte ram. Pero I suggest na mag-future proof na kayo and if gusto niyo yon, go with laptops that offer i5 and 8 gigabyte ram and above. And sa mga gusto malaman, my laptop right now is the Novo IdeaPad 510, yung 15 inches, and for me okay na siya. Ginagamit ko siya pang games, ginagamit ko siya pang coding, ginagamit ko siya pang edit, and wala namang issue. So, if gusto nyo yan, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Anong meron sa first year? Anong subjects sa first year? And what is first year like? So, first year subjects depend on the curriculum of the university. Pero syempre sa BSCSD mo, wala yung fundamentals of programming or basics nito. Pero sa mga naaalala ko, maroon kami yung subjects na into to computing. Yung into to computing, ang naaalala ko na lang dun is yung binary and conversion nun. Maroon din kami human-computer interaction which focuses on 
yung concept ng ergonomics and usability ng isang software and performance metrics. So, yeah, basically, yung interaction ng human sa computer. And then, meron din kami computer programming 1 and computer programming 2. Tapos, meron din kami data structures and algorithm, which hindi ko pa natutunan kasi nga nagkaroon ng quarantine and hindi ko na nakabutan yung third term. Sa basics of programming, tuturuan kayo ng isang programming language. And again, depende yun sa curriculum ng university. Sa amin, sa FEU, C++. And then, matatakil nyo rin yung paggawa ng flowchart, pseudocode, variables, looping, array, OP, and pointers, at iba pa. And yung math namin sa first year is math in the modern world, analytic geometry, with calculus, applied statistics, and mathematical analysis. Yung applied statistics and mathematical analysis, hindi pa namin natutunan kasi yun nga. Hindi ko rin abutan yung third term dahil may quarantine. And... Yeah. Tapos, when it comes to exams, yung exams namin sa programming usually reading and tracing code since multiple choice siya. So, kunyari, may source code na nakalagay sa papel, like sa questionnaire, line per line. Tapos, kunyari, ang tanong, which lines have the errors? Ganun, ganun. Kunyari, line 8, line 9, ganun, ganun. Tapos, sa circle mo, ganyan. Tapos, kunyari, may question pa kami na nakalagay, uh, for line 4, what is the correct data type? Tapos, ang choices, kaya rin, int, ganyan, car, ganun. So, yeah, reading and tracing code. So, dapat alam din namin, or alam din nyo, yung correct syntax for each programming language. Okay, next, another frequently asked question that I always receive is, Madami bang math? Paano pag di magaling sa math? Yes po, marami pong math sa CS, including calculus, discrete math, at marami pang iba. And if you're already good at it, Sana all. <laughs> if you're really good at math, you definitely have an advantage. And if not, wag na wag kayong mawawalan pag-asa. Dahil kung determined naman kayo matuto kahit mahirap at willing kayo mag-improve, that's already a big step in being good at it. Kaya niya. And the last question I always, always, always receive at any computer science related videos on my channel is, kung mahirap ba ang computer science? Ngayon pa lang, sasabihin ko na na yes, mahirap po siya. At kahit anong search niya sa internet, lagi pong answer ay yes, mahirap po talaga ang computer science. But, huwag na huwag kayo matatakot. Pati huwag niyo pang unahan sa lili niyo. Kasi, nagayang din gawain ko dati, like, kunyari may bagong topic na tututunan. Habang nadi-discuss yung prof namin, sobrang down ako. As in, sobrang sad ako kasi wala akong mag-gets. As in, gusto ko na lang sumuko, ganun. Pero, Nung trinay ko mag-self-study, nung trinay ko manood ng video tutorials, nung trinay ko magpa-help sa classmates ko, sa friends I know online, ganun lang pala, madali lang pala siya intindihin, and madali lang pala siya in general. So, it's important to always remind yourself na there's always time to study. You can always practice at home, practice with your friends, outside of campus, practice at cafes, or you can always download videos offline para panood nyo habang nakakomit kayo or habang nakutupin ng damit and stuff like that. I don't wanna go dapat ganyan, dapat ganon. Kasi iba-iba tayo syempre ng study style and method and iba-iba tayo ng ways kung paano matuto and kung anong effective sa atin. I also want you guys to remember to keep a healthy mindset as in always, always, always kasi nasa mindset talaga siya. If nasa isip mo na, ah, hindi ako gagaling, ah, baka di ko na lang kunin yung CS kasi baka di ko kayanin. Hindi mo talaga siya kayanin. Pero, pag iisip na, okay, I will practice a lot, I will ask help from my friends, I will watch video tutorials, kakayanin ko to, gagaling ako, and then, kakayanin niya talaga. Lastly, I wanna say na nasa tawa talaga siya. Kahit anong sabot ko sa mga questions na to, it's up to you pa rin talaga kung paano kayo mag-aaral, kung paano niyo i-handle yung course, and kung paano niyo i-build yung way niya to success. I'm just here to share my knowledge, to share my opinion, to share my experience, para magkaroon din kayo ng a little background at makatulong ba lang ako sa inyo kahit onte. I'll always be here to answer your questions and concerns. I'm happy to share what I know about the course kasi I want to inspire people into taking tech courses dahil technology is just a beautiful thing and it can do so many things. So if you want to talk to me privately or ask me more questions about this, my DMs are always, always, always open. My Instagram is open. My messenger is open. Chat nyo lang ako. I am here for you. That's all I have for today. Actually, plano ko mag Q&A kaso di ko alam kung may magtatanong. <laughs> Pero kung gusto nyo tuloy ko yung Q&A, 
a comment nyo lang below. And comment suggestions on what I should do next for my video. Kung ano gusto makita about sa computer science. And all of that, just comment below. And don't forget to like my video. And to subscribe to my channel. And to hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Sana nakatulong ko sa inyo. Bye!